Hi everyone, this is Paris Tabono of The Fortune Teller Shop. And I thought I would do a reading about the Putin War. So this is about Zelensky and Putin and what's going to happen between these two. Okay, so I have my Renaissance Trinity fortune telling cards. I'm going to see what we get. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle the cards. Shuffle. And then I'm going to lay out one card for Zelensky, one card for Putin, and one card for the Foundation, one card for Future, and one card for Outcome. Okay, so let's see what we get. So Zelensky first. Okay, so Zelensky's got Pegasus, and Pegasus was the horse with wings. So this is about helpful friends, it's about people rising above, getting on top of a situation. Let's look at Putin. The golden apple. Okay, the golden apple was a beautiful apple, but it was rotten on the inside. So it appears a certain way, it looks like it's made of gold but actually inside was not good. And the story of the golden apple is that it ended up bringing down the city of Troy. Now the combination card, okay, love or heart. Heart represents unity, okay, and coming together. But as you can see, they're not really coming together. Zelensky's trying to avoid and kind of get away, I suppose, and Putin's offering something that is not uh, as it seems. In fact, I'll read it to you out of the meaning so you know that I'm not being, you know, judgmental or something. I'm trying to be as objective as I can. So golden, golden crown, heart, golden apple. So in a career question, tricky, illusionary, sneaky, all is not what it seems. Something is wrong with the job or the product. False advertising, false promises, scam. What you see is not what you get. Okay, now um, Zelensky is Pegasus. So this is a career. This is about his career and life. Travel, New Horizons, freelance, helpful people will assist you if you ask. Unexpected idea or opportunity, someone gives you a push in the right direction. Ask for help if you need it. Can't do it all on your own, Zelensky. So, he's already asked for help. So, let's see if what the future holds. Okay, future direction um, is the merman, which is something slippery and tricky and false. So I think there's a lot of lies, obviously, in the whole situation and the outcome. The outcome is still spinning. The outcome is the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune means things are still spinning. So I'm not really getting a clear sort of uh, solution or a clear outcome. Uh, I'll, I'll just read you the, the meaning of the wheel just again so you know that I'm being, trying to be as objective as possible. So the wheel represents uh, in a career question, actually it's career and love. Wheel means travel, change, movement, going around in circles, luck, chance, unpredictable, up in the air, unexpected, expect the unexpected, big win or big loss, reversal of fortune, Okay, so let's take another one because it's landed on the reversal of fortune. What's going to be the outcome of this? Uh, well, it's a war, but Putin is saying it's some sort of operation. So there is some success here. So that's a good card. The crown. Crown is usually to do with some sort of success and achievement. Golden crown. 
Big success, wealth, gold, leadership, boss, in charge, wealth, mind, um, head over heart, authority, government, bureaucracy. Okay, so negative would be um, emotionally detached, bossy, domineering, dictator, profit over the people. So could it be saying that Putin is still, because that's kind of more Putin's energy, Profit over the people and dictator. Let's see, what else? Let's just pull out another one. Violets. Well, violets would represent peace. That's a good card for peace. So, it's interesting. I'm still not getting a clear story here, though. Um, it seems to kind of end well. Um, but... Yeah, there's definitely, I mean, this could be more Putin, the crown, because he's more the emperor, isn't he? He's more like the one with the power. But then it seems to be calming down a little bit. So, Okay, so I'm going to try again. I'm going to use the Lenono cards now. These are called the Fairlight Lenono deck. So we're going to make Zelensky the man. And we're going to make Putin the lion. Lion. Okay, so this is Putin. So we're going to see what's going to happen between these two and what's going to eventuate. What's going to happen? I'm going to give him a good shuffle. And let's see what's going to happen and what's going to eventuate. So, okay, so as you can see, I did a good shuffle. Let's see what we get. Okay, so the fox is at the top. Fox usually means, well, it says here, self-serving, sneaky, cunning, putting your own needs first. And then we have the scythe. So whoever is putting their own needs first or being sneaky and cunning looks like something's going to get cut. Okay, the scythe is cutting that. So let's look for the two men. Now there is the lion, which is our Mr. Putin. Now if we look at the lion, he's got the moon behind him. Moon is to do with reputation. In the Lenono, it's reputation, it's moods. And on top of him, he's got the cross. The cross represents something's blocking and burden, burdening him. Let's look for Zelensky now. Now there's Zelensky, he's got the stars and the heart. Now the stars can represent hope and wishes and dreams and then the heart can represent love and affection and emotions. So if I was to look at these cards, it would show that uh, Putin's uh, moods and Reputation, we've got here moods, emotions, personal reputation is a major consideration. Reflection on the past, so he's doing a lot of that. Phases and intuition. So he's quite kind of moody, thinking about his reputation. And then we've got a big block here, stop. The cross stops the card before it. Burden, suffering and blockages. Okay, so he's got a big block energy there. Now when we look at Zelensky, he's got the stars. This is also looking a little bit like America and a bit like the EU because they've got lots of stars on their flags, right? So it could be showing here, um, it says here, inspiration and hopes in the sky. Well, he's definitely trying to shut the sky down. Sky attacks, many options, dreams and wishes, network. So he's got a network and that's what he's been doing. Love and passion, love, in a love question, the heart, in a love question, a love question needs the heart for it to work. Do what you love, joy and happiness, partnership and unity. So Zelensky's pulling together his partners and he's trying to unite. Whereas Putin looks like he's kind of emotionally suffering and blocked. So, And we've got here the fox. The fox is going to get cut. So the fox is usually about lies and deception and also... The fox can also be like fake news. 
it can be uh, you know self-serving so the self-serving gets cut off okay so now I'm going to ask for a third opinion this time I'm going to use my Albus tarot deck okay so in this in this reading I'm going to show you how to do a reading for two men so what I've done is I've taken out all the kings and queens and knights and pages put them aside and just kept the minor and the major arcana now I'm going to allocate the card of the Emperor to Putin of course okay so he's the Emperor and I'm going to make Zelensky the magician because he was an actor and he was a comedian okay and he's kind of magic when you put him in front of a camera he kind of okay so that's Zelensky and the Emperor is Putin. So what I'm going to do is shuffle them really well. Okay, just, so I'm just basically putting them in random order so you can see me doing it on the video. So let's see, I'm just randomly putting them down. Okay, so pick them all up and Give them a bit of a shuffle too. Whoops. Right, I'm just going to use that card since it popped out. And so let's see what this card is. So this is the Two of Pentacles, which is about ups and downs, emotional, highs and lows, right? And we're going to pull out another card for this, with this. And then we've got family and unity. So, you know, this is almost like Ukraine. Or I suppose it could be Russia too. It's a bit like home, family, tradition. And it's all up and down. It's all wavy. It's all un un unsure. And now I'm going to look for the two men. So I'm going to look for Putin, which is the emperor, and Zelensky, which is the magician. Okay. Where are they? There's Zelensky. Okay, Zelensky again has got the heart. He's got, you know, tower behind him, which is, well, it's interesting because he's got the chariot too. Chariots like war. War chariots have caused destruction on him, although he is much loved. Okay, now let's look at Putin. Come on, Putin. Where are you? There you are. Okay. If we look at Putin, he's got heartache behind him. Separation, heartache, storms, dark clouds, and he's got fantasy ahead of him or in front of him. So again, Zelensky doesn't come off too bad, even though he's suffered and experienced, you know, attacks. He still has love energy on his side, whereas Putin has Seven of Cups on top of him. Seven of Cups is illusionary, and I'll read it to you so you know that I'm not making this up. It says here, choices, imagination, up in the air, fantasy, wishful thinking, unreal, opportunities, many ideas. So he seems to be unsure of what he's actually going forward and how things are going forward. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the neon lights cards. And this is basically a little message for each of these men. Okay, we're just gonna see what the message, the neon lights wanna give them. So we're gonna start off with Zelensky first. What message does the cards wanna give Zelensky? Nightmare. Well, he's definitely living a nightmare. That is not a surprise at all. And see what you want to see. We see what we want. Okay, so he's living a nightmare. He almost has to see what he wants. He probably has to envision what he wants. Now let's look at Putin. Pepsi, okay, he's all frothy and bubbly. And unfuck yourself. Oh, goodness. So he's all 
I read Pepsi as basically, um, you know, frothy and bubbly and um, could be money as well, I suppose. And then unfuck yourself. So basically he's got to find a way to, well, unfuck himself. This is Paris Devono of the Fortune Teller Shop.